Hello everyone, this is Vintage Problem Guy bringing you another system test video. Happy Final Friday, and here's system test number 50. So anyway, let's get started. So, if any of you guys have saw my last video with some system test 409, we did the Space Age Day 32 with the Space Age rebranded um, Federal Technical 450D Vibratone, and then the... Um, Federal Signal 450D uh, C1 Vibratone Horn Strobe. Well, those devices are taken down and I put something else in their places now. So, yep. So, anyway, let's get started with devices on the system. For pull stations, uh, it's obviously 4250 on S21. You guys have seen this plenty of times. So, yep. Up here, I have my Simplex 2903 9001 flash and leg plate with the Simplex 29193 horn behind it. Or formerly known as the uh, Faraday 6120. It's literally the same thing. So, yep. I tell you what, it probably has to be one of my favorite signals. You know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool arm. Um, pretty satisfying too. So, yep. Yeah, tell you what, it's probably one of my favorite signals. So, yep. All right. Anyway, let's continue on with the rest of the system. Simplex 2098 as usual. Over here, got the 2099 9754. And up here, I have a new horn strobe in my collection. This is a 4903-9239 uh, 15 Candela electronic horn strobe. And as you can see, this one in particular is vertical mount. So the uh, horizontal mount version that you usually see like this, except it's vertical mount. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. Actually, right here, here's a horizontal mount um, electronic horn strobe, for example. Can I compare the two? Yep. This is this is the most common horn strobe we're used to see. This is kind of not. So I don't know why. It's a little weird seeing this vertical mounted. So, but yeah. So I don't know why they made these uh, vertical mounts. Um, I think these are probably used for like retrofitting or replacing um, old horns and stuff. So I think kind of like, you know, for example, like a toy now, three light plate, you probably get replaced with one of these. Like if the unit died, they were replaced with one of these units. I think that's probably what it's used for, so, yep. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, that was pretty much the overview of the devices on the system. As you can see, we just have like a 1990s, kind of a 1980s simplex system. So without further ado, let's go ahead. We'll start things off with the 4251S21. System will be on code three. If you have epilepsy, foil sensitivity, or any seizures to flashing strobe lights or flashing lights, please do not watch this video. Anyway, here it goes. As you can see, audible silence. That over there is actually on two hour operations. So, yep. So, all right, go ahead, reset the port to 51, that's 21. And then we go ahead and reset the panel. All right. Give us a few more seconds here. All right. System is now back to normal, so now we can go ahead. We'll activate the Simplex 2098 9636, and the system will be on March time. So I'll be right back. All right, system is now on March time, so let's go ahead and activate the smoke detector. Here we go.
yeah, pretty noisy, but yeah, you kind of get the idea. Yeah. To be honest, I think the Toy Out 3 sounds a lot louder than the 4 Now 3 electronic horn show over there. Yeah, I can hear it, but I feel like this thing is like much louder for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. I think I know one because I know one's electromechanical horns, so yeah, electromechanical horns, they're probably more louder than uh, electronic horns. It's not because these things are loud. This one's like, if this thing's like blaring loud. The that device over there, that's like ear piercing loud. So, yeah. yeah so, I'm, electromechanical horns aren't that bad. They don't hurt my ears that much. Uh, it's electronic horns. They're pretty ear piercing. They kind of hurt my ears a little bit. These aren't that bad. So, yep. Yeah. All right. So, since it's back to normal, and since I never show you how I how to change the cone option this thing anymore. I'll go ahead and then we'll change the cone option to continuous. So, yep. Alright, zero, that back. Alright, system's now on continuous. So let's go ahead, go over to the four, no, 299-9754, and I'm gonna reset this all over here. Anyway, here it goes. <laughs> Oh boy, pretty loud, but I'll tell you what, this horn sounds pretty nice, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I really hope Noya was outside by, while hearing me send this stuff off, so, yeah. I mean, my neighbors are cool with me setting off my alarms in the garage, they just don't want to listen to this all day, so, yeah. That's just how it is, so, yep. Alright, so, that pretty much wraps up for system test number 50. Yep, 1980 Simplex. And the 1990s simplex over there, or, yep, you kind of get the idea, so, yep. I think next system test, um, I will be using that horn strobe uh, for next system test. Uh, and I'm not, but I'm going to move it over here. And then I think over there will probably just be like the 4 now formal strobe, so, yeah. I think that's what I plan on know what I want to do for next uh, system test, which will be system test number 51, so, yep. All right, that pretty much wraps up for this video. Don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next week for the next Final Friday. Have a great day, everyone.